Welcome to Superhero Pow. I'm your host nerd, Don Frenge. Hey, how you doing today? I've been indulging in one of my favorite pastimes, just looking up notes about comic books and cartoons. When a thought hit me, what cartoon has the most episodes? Well, actually, that answer is super easy. You know, The Simpsons, 768 episodes and counting. Then Family Guy has 424, South Park has 328, and the Flintstones only has about 166 from their original run. If you want to count everything, you know, Pebbles and Bam Bams, the Flintstone Kids, Cave Kids, you know, they got about 310 then. If you wanted to count up everything uh, Scooby-Doo's been in, you know, not counting his movies, but just his TV shows, including the most beloved Velma show. <clears throat> uh, that would probably put Scooby in second place with 448 episodes. But I guess that's not too fair, you know. I suppose it should be an original run, you know, barring any hiatuses, as they say. You know, So even though Family Guy really has two series, it's all the same show, right? For some other really big ranking shows, we got... Uh, Adventure Time with 283. SpongeBob SquarePants has got 299. George Lucas's Clone Wars came in with 133. And PBS's Arthur has 253. And I think they're still making them. It's kind of crazy for an old schooler like me. Back in the days, you know, Saturday morning, you got like 13 episodes a season, and that was it. And good luck coming back next year. And even when you were in syndication, the ceiling was at 64. Because once you hit 64 episodes, you were done. That was the magic number for rerun status. And there's no reason to pay for new episodes when these 64 episodes can run forever in rerun. That's just free money, baby. And while some managed to get more episodes, for various reasons... It wasn't really until cable that popular shows could crack 64 episodes. Cable channels weren't really interested in syndication reruns. They wanted to keep feeding the beast and keep all the viewers on their channel 24-7. And I think that's why Adventure Time and SpongeBob and others just keep running. But anyway, this is Superhero Pow. I think the thing we're most interested in is what's the longest running superhero show? And I suppose to be clear of my agenda, I'm talking about comic book superheroes adapted into animation. So I'm not really talking like characters like Space Ghost, even though he doesn't even really rank on the list. He only has like 33 episodes. Okay, if you add in the 109 episodes of Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but you know, those were very different. And they were only like 15 minutes long. Heck. Rack and Zorak had 146 episodes of Cartoon Planet, but, you know, whatever. Adapted comic book superheroes, that's, that's what I'm going to be looking at. All right, getting into the list, here are some heavy hitters who got 52 episodes. We got Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which probably should have had more episodes. The very popular Batman Beyond. Hulk, Agents of Smash, which... I didn't quite understand. The CGI Iron Man Armored Adventures, where Tony Stark was a teenager. Okay. The original Spider-Man from the 1960s. Very impressive. Static Shock. The Superhero Super Squad. Wow, really? And the best X-Men show ever. Yeah, I said it. X-Men Evolution. Moving up the ladder to 54 episodes, we have Superman, the so-called animated series, because that was never really the name of the show. Shows making it to the Magic 65 are The Batman, you know, the show that followed up after Batman the Animated Series, and Batman the Brave and the Bold, which I would say should have had more. And there was Spider-Man, Fox Kids show from the 1990s, 
And lastly, Cartoon Network's Teen Titans, a big fan favorite. Moving on from there, we have The X-Men with 76 episodes. Although if we're counting the new episodes, you know, from X-Men 97, which I'm not so sure we should, that would push it up to 86 episodes and counting. And then Disney's Guardians of the Galaxy had 77 episodes. And now we move into the top 10, you know, assuming X-Men slash X-Men 97 are two different shows. Otherwise, they'd get in there. But anyway, starting off with number 10 is The Super Friends with 78 episodes. Although The Super Friends can get a little tricky, too, because their first three seasons had hour-long episodes, you know, most of them filled with lots of shorts. So if you wanted to chop all those up into half hours, you know, like all the other shows are, then you would get 140 half hours and basically put them in the third place. Pretty damn impressive. In ninth place, and fittingly, I guess, is the Justice League with 91 episodes. And they should have had more. And yes, just like with the Super Friends, I'm counting the different show titles together as one show because it basically was. In eighth place is Young Justice with 94 episodes. And now cracking the hundreds, in seventh place is Ultimate Spider-Man with 104 episodes. Everyone's fave in sixth place, Batman the Animated Series with 109. And I'm including both designs of the show. I don't know if it's fair, but here we are. In fifth place is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their CGI show from 2015, had 124 episodes. Now, I know there may be some argument about whether or not the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are superheroes. Well, they did wear masks and fight crime. So while I understand they might not be traditional superheroes, they still basically are. But, you know, scrape them off the list, if you will. Fourth place goes to Disney's Avengers Assembled, with 126 episodes. Wow. And even more wow is third place, with Teen Titans Go, with 130 episodes. Now, you might argue that this is not a superhero show, and you might be right. I don't know, but it's 130 episodes. Moving on... Hold on to your butts, because if you didn't like my list before, you're really not going to like it now. Because in second place is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their show from 2003. It had 155 episodes. But wait, there's more, because in the number one spot with 193 episodes is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original show with 10 seasons, the highest number of seasons a show has had as well. So to reverse the joke, it's just turtles all the way up. Frickin' impressive. Now, for you purists out there, I guess Super Friends is the longest running superhero show with 140 half hours in nine seasons. Avengers Assemble would be in second. They had like five seasons. And then Batman the Animated Series would be in third, and Ultimate Spider-Man and the totality of X-Men 97 would round out the top five. I must say I did not expect the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to own this list as much as they did. Counting all of it together, they have 472 episodes and more on the way. Other combined big hitters are Spider-Man with... 381, but not counting Spidey and his amazing friends, but counting Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Then Batman has 298 episodes, the X-Men have a combined 164, and Superman has a measly 101. So how about that for wasting our time, huh? Well, before we go, let's put the shoe on the other foot. What's the shortest superhero cartoon show? Well, that might be Swamp Thing from 1991, with a whopping five episodes. 
I'm pretty sure I missed it. Saw some of the live action show, but not this one. But if we're going to count aired pilots, then it has to be the could have, should have, would have been first X-Men show, Pride of the X-Men. One episode was made, one episode was aired. How thick can network buyers be? All right, that's enough. We got stuff to do. But thanks so much for spending time with me. And feel free to tell me how you'd list them out. And if you could be so kind to like, subscribe, and notify, well, I'll just have to keep making more of these things. Take care of yourself out there.